Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Nat Walsh. Today we are going to play with another sassy and crafty snap set. This is called Magic Within. So we're going to use, you can't quite see the little bits and pieces that we've going to use there, but we've got like a hanging pendant thing, a couple of crystals, and I've used a silhouette uh, cameo to put those, put all these images together. As I've told you before, these are, I get these as digital images. Now you're going to get these as real stamp sets. So these, all these images I've printed out to be the same as what you would receive. So the moon and that cluster of, crystal, of crystals are all one stamp. Then you've got one little crystal down the base of the cluster. And of course the one over the side, which is different, separated. And then we've got the hanging pendant. So here I'm using RV99, R56, RV34, and RV32. I'm just working through, I am, I didn't know how to color crystals. So after a little bit of a Google search, I came up with this image that I thought looked really, really cool. So we're just flying by the seat of our pants here, basically. I'm using some darker colors right where the, the oh, what is that word? basically the surfaces but there's a mathematical term for this but I can't remember right where everything joins up where you've got a cut of the crystal I mean it's not cut by a machine but we all know you get the gist of what I'm talking about here so I'm going through with my RV99 and just trying to give a little bit of dimension now I don't think I cut too much out of this because it's a bunch of crystals and I thought it might be interesting for those who do actually color with Copics to see a full video and because each of these crystals obviously are sort of different ways and different cut differently I thought I, I just left it in So this is part of Sassy and Crafty's June release. So this month they had a lot of, you know, the magic within, sort of find yourself. So there's a few videos coming up on my channel. Um, once they're released, I can post that up for you and you can have a look. And I will also put a link down below to their website and you can check them out. So there's some really fun little images there. But this month is a little bit more, last month was a little bit more, uh, you know, there's some cute little images. This month we've got a sort of some unicorns and find yourself. And so back to the card. So we've got V28 and V25, just as some couple of darker ones. So I'm just putting, I've just picked colors that I thought would relatively go well with it, but you will see I'm going to use some Ys because I just can't help myself. B, we've got B95, 93 and 91 just to give a little bit of, you know, sometimes you look at colors and you can see other crystals, you can see other colors in them. So that was what I was going for. If I did this again, I've done a lot of panels straight on. I'd probably change that. So of course you can get here, we've got our YR21. And I am going to soften that down with another one of my, back to my RVs. So it's not quite, you've got that hint of orangey yellow without it overtaking everything. So yeah, I would probably change some of the surfaces that, you know, they're all like front on. I would probably mix that up a little bit. Um, but this is the first time I've colored a crystal, so, you know. 
it's pretty cool just finding other little spots that I have missed in there next good old white gel pen now my white gel pen one of my white gel pens um, has died but I've recently if you saw the whole haul about last month you'll see that I've got I've bought some more now so what I'm trying to do here bring out the old Posca pen and it's got a super fine I think it's 0.7 millimeters tip on it so it's really really fine so I'm going around the outside edges of it and we're going to do some little streaks going into the crystals and some odd little dots just to give it a bit more interest and give it a little bit of uh, texture because it's not crystals aren't smooth not like fully smooth so this was an image I found on uh, sorry the coloring I should say not the image because we know the image came from sassy and crafty but the coloring and everything else because I as I said earlier I did not know how to color this but I googled some images of crystals until I found one that I pretty much liked so basically we're just going through the with the Posca pen and just doing dimensions over on the blog there will be a close-up photos of the crystals you'll be able to see what I'm talking about here what I'm also going to do with some of those darker areas that don't have the blue and the yellow and that sort of thing that's just have that red violet I am going to go back over it with my lightest color oh speak of the devil so once it's draw once it's all dry go back over it which tones it down a little bit so it's not quite so um, bright because you're working in a darker area where the light is not hitting it perfectly so I just tone that little bit back but you can still see it and you look on the photos you can still see it and that isn't a problem I'm going to do this other little gemstone and also the hanging pendant the same colors literally I'm just going to go back and forth so we've got a little bit of blue in this one mm, there's not really any yellow in this spot the honestly the white takes up a little bit but it just adds a lot of interest to it so give it a crack I've also at the end of it I've also put a little bit of stickles through it too because hopefully in theory stickles crystals should I don't know to me they should sparkle it's been a long time since I've had a crystal but uh, to me they should sparkle so and it's all talking about the magic within so the saying on this is may the magic within shine through we're going to move on to our um, our gold and also our moon right so we've got YR 18 15 08 and 04 I don't end up using the YR 12 that you can see there working with the shadow being behind the crystal because even though the crystals you know the moon is going to project its own light uh, it just didn't feel right to just leave it one flat color so you know you know me I have to do these things so yeah as I said um, the blog post will have close-up photos so you can check all that out sassy and crafty will be linked below I mentioned that before I'm just doing a mental checklist if you haven't yet subscribed um, it would be an honor if you subscribed hit that little bell and that way you'll get notified of whenever I upload a video and you'll get to because I do throw them over to Facebook groups and that sort of stuff because I'm only very very little but this way you will hear about it first basically I had a little bit of a misadventure with a bit of yellow so I'm just going to clean that up 
and on the whole that's going to be pretty much my card we're going to go back in with our blues now they are the same colors I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do with this ground so I sort of did it like it's sitting on I feel like it's sitting on a, a like a nice blue silky softy tablecloth so we've put a little bit of I've, I've colored it really roughly so I've put a little bit of texture into having the cloth and I've left the the very background of it just pretty soft and I, I think it turned out quite nice I'm going to use some just some deep burgundy cardstock to frame this up so then it's going to pick up the the red violet that's in our crystals and apart from that we're just going to go back and forth But in some ways keeping it a little bit rough there we go we're just going to put some stickles mount that up cutting it with the paper rose nesting rectangles this is Australian card base sizes so if for my American friends there Australian card bases um, work off at A4 cut in half and so our cards are taller and not as wide so these are great for the Aussie peeps that we can just have something that sort of fits our card bases a lot better we're going to mount that up with a little bit of foam tape onto my cardstock and I just as you saw I just have all my cardstock it was driving me crazy because I wasn't using all my cardstock and I'd come to my cupboard that has all my cardstock in it and sit there and I'm an hour about it whereas with this swatching that I've done I suppose it's a little bit particular but I really like it and I use it so much more you know it's just I don't have to get up and do it go and have a look I can just have it all there well this is where we got our little stickles so I'm going to sort of say I hope you are all well I hope everyone is safe enjoying your summer for those in summer we are in winter well we're in autumn basically but it's pretty darn cold so it feels like winter and that's it I hope you enjoyed that uh, take care I'll talk to you next time see you later